Rock family, it's me, Amanda. I just wanted to say I miss you guys and I'm thinking about you and I look forward to the day that we can give each other a big hug and see each other face to face. Um, I wanted to share with you something that the Lord ministered to me about and it comes from Psalm 136. And it's the Psalm that talks about giving thanks to the Lord for his mercy endures forever. And it begins to say that he alone made the wonders for his mercy endures forever. And how he created the sun to shine in the day and the moon and the stars to shine at night for his mercy endures forever. And it continues on to say that he led the Israelites out of the wilderness for his mercy endures forever. And then it goes on, um, verse 23, and says that at our lowly state that he met us for his mercy endures forever. And how he feeds all flesh for his mercy endures forever. And I love this psalm because it talks about his mercy. And that word mercy actually is the word hesed. And that word actually means three really big words. It means goodness, it means uh, kindness, and it means faithfulness. So when you think of the Lord and that his mercy endures forever, it's really saying his goodness endures forever, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness endures forever. And I was reminded of his goodness, which you can find all over the Bible. But um, in Exodus, um, it talks about how he would lead us in his goodness and that he would be gracious to us and he'd have compassion on us. And then it talks about um, his kindness. And the scripture that came to mind was um, Romans 5, 8, that says he demonstrated his love while we were yet sinners, he died for us. And I really can't think of anything that's more kind than a God who would lay down his life for us while we were not getting it together, while we don't have it right. And um, that just blesses me to think of that. And so then I think about his faithfulness and I think of that scripture that says, that he's not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent, and that what he said he will do. Our God is not a liar. He is so faithful. He's faithful to his word. He's faithful to his promises. And so when you think of that entire psalm, and you think about the fact that the same God who created all the wonders of the world, who created the solar system, when you think about the solar system and how vast it is and how large it is and how beautiful it is, and the fact that he had you and I in mind while he was creating those things, and that same mercy that sustains the heavens and the earth, the same mercy that created the wonders, is the same mercy that sustains you and I. It's his mercy, his goodness, his kindness, and his... Um, faithfulness that sustains us. And so I hope that um, you're encouraged by that to know that that very same mercy that sustains the world is the same mercy that sustains you and I. I love you guys and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Talk to you soon.